and welcome everybody my name is the IT guy and in this video I'll be showing you how you can remove old EFI boot entries from your system and these can be um, boot entries you have left from let's say some Linux installation you did a couple of months ago or maybe a couple of days ago you want to get rid of that boot entry because it's pretty annoying when you're going into your BIOS and uh, you want to go into your boot menu and you find all of these uh, no longer in use boot entries of old operating systems that were um, on the disk. So um, actually in Windows it's pretty easy to do so. So I have I know that I try to install PrimeOS, which is a um, Android emulator for uh, for PC, uh, on which I might do a video in the future, by the way. Um, and I want to remove that entry because you know I didn't really complete the whole uh, installation and I want to start over again. I want to remove everything. So the first thing you'll need to do is you're going to go over to your start menu and you're going to uh, enter CMD. And you're going to right click command prompt and you're going to run it as administrator. I'm going to hit yes and then we're going to type in uh, bcd edit slash enum space firmware. What this is going to do is it's going to list all of the uh, boot entries that Windows can find in its boot manager. So I know for a fact that I want to remove this one over here. So this is going to be the PrimeOS loader and you can find this in the description over here. Um, this is going to be, in the description is always going to say what it actually is. And in this case it is the PrimeOS loader. So what, what I want to take note of is the identifier. So I want to copy the identifier curly braces included. So you want to select all of that. You want to go up top here. You want to right click that and go to edit and copy everything. And then we want to do the same command. So bcd edit slash um, delete. And then we want to go up top again. And then we want to do edit paste. And then it's going to say that the operation completed successfully. And if we would go back into BCD edit slash enum firmware, then we would scroll down. Then we see that the prime OS loader boot entry has been successfully removed from our system. So it's easy as that. It's a couple of steps and you are well on your way to removing those annoying boot entries. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!